Unaratu approached the throne through the crowd. She walked beside it, but did not sit. Why do we continue to believe this lie? She asked the crowd. Kukul Khan controls this city, and I will no longer wear a smile and pretend it is any different. I will not be his puppet, trotted out to wave and smile. The guards cut her off quickly and ushered her away. Then they advanced, with weapons drawn to disperse the crowds. It was for the best. Hello. Are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Sent you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? No. A boy Taki lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident. Because of something I did, and would do again. What happened? Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own, until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her. They would have cast her out. She was an only child. I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it. And cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Chaska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki.
Patoli is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their families' freedom. The god of art and games, Makwal Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. Thank you. 
As it was foretold, heralded by the column of flame burning through the night, and the destruction of our temples, and the warnings of the weeping woman and the two-headed man, the strange warriors astride great deer arrived with the rising sun. They murdered the weak leaders and claimed the land and the people as their own. <laughs> The legend is that the Ring of Seven stand guard over riches, but I've looked all over the place and I still haven't been able to find them. It doesn't make any sense. Why go to the trouble of making up a riddle and then not having it pay off? Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh... Pisco sent you. He did. I'm Moreika. <laughs> that was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing. The one who found the key of Shakshel. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Rimac? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Rimac? <laughs> he doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. Fear is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. But look at me rambling on, Dreamac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. Thank you. Enjoy it. Hmm, good deal. Enjoy it. Good deal. Thank you. Mm, good deal. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Good deal. Thank you. Good luck, Lara.
The people of the Andes have been perfecting the art of weaving for thousands of years. This chuspas is a wonderful example, woven of llama or alpaca hair and traditionally used to carry cocoa leaves. It clearly highlights the weaver's skill. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Inca use a combination of freeze-drying and salt to preserve just about anything edible. Chaki and chunos are basically meat and potatoes. Delicious.
found you. This describes something nearby. The youngest of four turns his back on his brothers, unable to speak as I lie in his mouth. All full up. Can't carry any more.
Yeah.